What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. Today, this day, it's for me because I have a wonderful car. It's a big pleasure to review this new Mercedes GLA 53 Coupe AMG 2022 model. Incredible car. This is the top of the top sporty SUV car that you can get it today on the market. It's just incredible. It will blow your mind. Check out the test drive, guys. I have a separate video with the same car, the test drive. There you will see everything almost everything about driving style driving feeling and all that stuff in this video it's all about the review we will make the review interior exterior i will explain you multimedia i will explain you technical data i will explain you the material quality i will show you everything about the car interior exterior before we go forward i want to tell you guys if you are in switzerland around switzerland check out guys Tehash Willy in Bern I will leave the link in the description so you can check them out you can buy the car you can see the car you can test drive the car I will leave the link in the description let's start and let's talk a little bit about the technical data the price and all that stuff so as I said before I have with me the GLA 53 AMG uh, Coupe this is a 2022 version and the price of the car the starting price of the car it's 129,200 francs and after you add all these package and options, for example, the car come with Pack AMG Premium Plus from Mercedes, that means 50,824 francs extra. The Driving Assistant Plus, it's 3,273 extra. Then you have the hook for a caravan or for example, for a trailer, you have to pay extra 1,293 francs. And if you want the color, design or bright, you will have to pay 2,500 extra. Yeah, kind of expensive. And then if you want the Mbox Augmented Reality for navigation, you will have to pay extra 400 francs. That totally deserve. Get this because it's awesome. When you navigate on the street, the car will show you with the cameras where you should go left and right. It's, it's a super, super cool system. Anyway, now the final price of the car with all this option added, it's 152,490 francs. But here at Tehash Willy, as you can see here, it's writing, you have a discount, 8,990 francs discount. So the final price will be 143,500 francs. It's an expensive car, but it's a great car. I tell you, I mean, it's almost perfect. I drive the car before, I see the car before, and it's just incredible, I tell you, incredible. You will see it also in the video as we go forward. Now, the weight of the car, it's a super heavy car. I feel that also when I did the test drive, so check out for more details. Uh, I feel that it's, it's a heavy car, but incredible powerful and very, very good setup. The power, the engine, they set up incredible. 2,565 kilograms. The consumption of the car, because it's a mild hybrid, kind of a mild hybrid system, it has also a 48 volt battery and also an uh, electric motor. The consumption around 11.3 liters. Then you have here a CO2 emission 258 grams, kind of much, and it's in the G class, so yeah. This is the dinosaur, guys. Still a big dinosaur, but still, if you're on the market for an IC car, that might be one of the best SUV, sporty SUV, probably one of the last in the next 10 years. But yeah, incredible car. Now let's go a little bit deeper in technical data. Car come with a three liter petrol engine, six cylinders in line. Also, it's combined with this mild hybrid system, a small motor and also a small battery, 48 volt battery that helped the car sometimes to get a better emission, get better acceleration if you mind and also better consumption but the power of the car 435 horsepower 520 newton meters it's an all-wheel drive as you see before formatic and it's connected with a nine speed automatic transmission transmission is just fabulous you don't even feel when the car is changing the gears it's just smooth incredible the range of the car they estimated you can do around 913 kilometers i think it's a little bit much in my opinion the fuel tank capacity 85 liters pretty good pretty big the top speed of the car 250 kilometers 0 to 105.3 seconds wow for an SUV it's perfect the ground clearance 20.5 centimeters but this car right here with me it has air suspension so that is not fixed you can adjust this ground clearance so it's not something that you should take it as a fixed thing then the car come with ventilated brake discs 
and cross drill it brake discs on the front four pistons on the rear the car come with ventilated brake discs we have also on the car 22 inch rims that look phenomenal i will show you a little bit later when we go outside they look just awesome those rims 22 they are perfect for the car and the handling is incredible the turning radius 12 meters really good for such a big car the trunk capacity 655 liters and if you fold down the seats completely you will have 1795 liters it's super spacious in my opinion a lot a lot of space there in the trunk also the car come with independent double wishbone air suspension with anti-roll bar on the front on the rear we have multi-link air suspension with anti-roll bar so those are the most important technical data guys so if you want to see the test drive i wait you next days on the other uh, video guys there you can see the, the feeling the driving feeling i hope i cover everything i hope i show you everything in this video and i tell you all about the technical data now guys let's go outside let's start the review and in the end i will make the conclusion all right guys let's start with the key here is the key simple light nice modern and also you have the amg writing here on the side what you can do with the key first of all you can open the trunk the car come with automatic lift gate super simple and also you can close it from here you press the button for a few seconds and then the trunk will close also another thing lock and unlock the car as you can see the car come with electric folding mirrors but it's a keyless entry so all you have to do is just put your hand here and you can unlock the car very simple so this is what you can do with the key now guys let me turn on the lights and then we will talk a little bit about the exterior all right guys so here we are on the exterior design in my opinion this is also one of the most beautiful mercedes suv ever built i love the coupe shape i like the way it looks the back of the car also much more aerodynamic much nicer slicker design and it looks lovely so the lines the shape it looks powerful it looks modern it has all the latest technology uh, that can get for example we have multi-beam led lights on the front here the grill look phenomenal with those amd touches here and there uh, also the the bumper in the front look phenomenal the bumper on the rear uh, the touch with the chrome design around the windows on the handles uh, also the rims look just super super nice on the car it's just perfect the way it is also i like very much this white color it fits really nice with the car in my opinion anyway let's go close and look a little bit closer to the car and we will start with the roof i love the round uh, roof the way it comes down here pretty slick uh, and nice in a coupe shape we have the glass roof i will show you later when we go inside i will also open it up for you i like very much the way it comes this window here in the back and the way they they install this uh, brake light there we have tinted windows in the back on the side here we have the roof spoiler also quite quite nice here on the back uh, the way it looks and super slick design look at the design look at the round shape really really round on the rear we have amg gla 53 so you know which car uh, you are driving also we have the classic now uh, led lights from mercedes we have mercedes benz uh, writing on the side and also full led lights even the turning signals even the the fog lamp i don't know if you can see it right there it's super light but the fog lamps everything it's led guys so don't expect to find any halogen light on the car because you will not find it other than that super simple design super slick and nice what comes out it's down here on the bumper the bumper is different it's sporty it's aggressive it looks phenomenal you have some sporty elements on the side six sensors on the rear then we have some light reflector some black normal plastic and then some chrome design touches here and there as you can see we have almost everywhere touches of chrome and then look at those exhaust pipes amg logo on them and they sound in a big way two exhaust pipes here another two on the other side actually it's only one if you look closely there it's somehow split in two but yeah it kills my camera right now good now let's go forward here the same story 
and we have this air diffuser design here pretty nice pretty aggressive also the hook is down there it's not a proper air diffuser because you can see there it doesn't have the shape it's not uh, pretty um, straight down there but it looks really spectacular and really sporty on the car I like it what do you think super simple perfectly down here on the number plate we have a camera oh, no. The camera is behind here, I almost forgot. It's behind here, it will open like that, and then the camera will come out. Uh, also, yeah, it's automatic lift gate here uh, on the trunk. Other than that, LED lights on the number plate. Super nice, super simple. Right now, the car is running in comfort mode, but if you change the different driving modes, look at this, from here you go to Sport Plus, You hear that? The sound is different, guys. So it has an amazing sound. I love the sound of the car. Let's go back to comfort. Kind of an echo mode. Comfort on this car, it's somehow like an echo mode. Now we see the back. You can see it also from the side. Beautiful, beautiful, slick design there in the back. Quite nice. Now let's go on the side. Here on the side, we have the chrome touches here. Quite nice. Uh, also a lot of quality, we have rubber here, very nice integrated here, uh, tinted windows, glossy plastic, glossy plastic between the windows. Uh, also you can see it's almost perfectly aligned here. <laughs> and also they add some rubber, you can see the rubber there, that means high quality. Let me show you, they put a lot of rubber here. Look at this on the side, double rubber here as well, here. That means great sound insulation and also great quality on the doors also the handle look nice chrome design it's also good quality when you touch it very simple here's the mirror LED light on the side we have the camera here for 360 degrees camera and also an LED light to illuminate the floor in the nighttime big mirror huge mirror great visibility and also the blind spot technology it's in the corner right there here in the back we have also a nice design you can see here is the bumper plastic bumper and it has this nice sharp uh, design here that continuing on this area and here it's very important we have a plastic here that continuing to protect this area because this is the paint of the car if you scratch this area if you hit this area will be really hard to repaint because you have to repaint all the part uh, and it will be much more hard and expensive and that's why they put these protections if you scratch it you can change it very easy you take it out you change it uh, and the car is just like a new so yeah this is something that i like i like the fact that they make it in the same color as the car you can see the same story in the front they put it in the front as well and it looks quite nice on the car you can see these days many cars uh, use those kind of protection going down here you have this step here look wonderful some plastic the same to protect the down area there if you go off road even here the same story same story you can see it guys in the front here you have the turbo formatic plus so you know what system you have on the car uh, and then here in the front it starts to be a little bit different we will talk about that in a second but before that uh, let me tell you that the car come with two cameras there sensors and also another actually they have three cameras the car is able to to use the dash cam you can see down there it's a dash cam that film what happened on the road and also up there we have two cameras for lane assist reading the traffic speed limit and all that adaptive cruise control and system safety system it's incredible it works with the radar it's a radar here behind this huge logo and this radar work together with those camera to give you that gorgeous performance guys in terms of safety features look at how aggressive is the hood look at the lines the sharp edges lines in the sun you can see it a little bit better really aggressive really beautiful look if you ask me it looks super aggressive if I go in the front a little bit, zoom in, look at the aggressive look, powerful look, like a really, really powerful car. And also we have Mercedes logo here and another logo here, big behind this, the radar, but look how nice they, they add this AMG. We have the AMG grill, classic grill with chrome design, AMG on the side here. Also the chrome around the, 
the logo. We have a camera for the front camera, another camera here for 360 degrees camera. I will show you when we go inside. This car have a lot of cameras. I have one here, four on the side, one, two, three, four in the back, six, seven, eight cameras on the car. Wow, incredible. A lot of system, safety system on the car. Lovely grill, guys. Mercedes-Benz here logo with the multi-bean LED light, the latest technology from Mercedes. They are awesome in the nighttime. They are phenomenal. And also they look nice. You can see from this angle as well. Perfect. Then let's go to the, to the front bumper. The bumper look phenomenal in my opinion. Also six sensors in the front here, you can see it. And also we have air intakes here on the bumper, huge air intakes that help the aerodynamic of the car. The air will go outside here, you can see it. And also we have another air exhaust here. I don't know if you can see it. And the air will go inside here and will go outside there. And then another part of the air, if I'm not wrong, will go inside here and it'll go outside there. And then we have air intakes here that goes directly to the engine. And also we have clappers there. You see the, the plastic black clappers? They will close and open. The same story up here. If you look closely inside there, you will have some clappers that they stay open right now. And when the engine need to be hot, it will stay closed. So it will keep the heating inside there. I think you can see them. Yes, anyway. Gorgeous system, latest technology, chrome a little bit down here, chrome design, lovely, lovely sporty design on the bumper. Yes, it's a proper, proper sporty car. Huge SUV, safe SUV, five star, seven on cup, safety. It's, it's, it's for him number one. Look, look how big it is, look how nice it is. Lovely car. So guys, if you're still on the market for an IC, huge SUV with a lot of power, this might be one of the best options for you these days until they take it out completely. 22 inch rims, AMG rims, AMG look beautiful, also very stable. We have ventilated and cross-drilled brake discs. Look at the AMG brake calipers, four pistons in the front here. Lovely. Now on the rear, guys, we have ventilated brake discs and the brake calipers are simple. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy there. But other than that, it looks just lovely. So what do you think? Here on the right side, the last element is the tank. The petrol tank is right here on the right side to the passenger side. That's something to keep in mind. Other than that, this is the car, guys. Really big space here in the front for the engine. We have an automatic lift gate. That's impressive because this lift gate, it's huge. Man, this is huge. I mean, this front end, it's really, really big. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Here's the engine, guys. Three liter petrol engine, six cylinders in line, 435 horsepower, 520 Newton meters. Looks fabulous here. Look at this, guys. Look at this rubber. Look at this protection for insulation. Look at this. Look at this array. AMG writing here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Also, how stable they are. They add these arms here to some metals there for protection. Really interesting. Piece of art. Piece of art, guys. Okay, let me close it. It's so, it's so high for me. Open the trunk, just like that. Automatic lift gate, as you see before. Super simple. Up here, we have the button for the hook. You press this button and the hook will come out. Check this out. You wait around 10 seconds. You don't even need to, to touch it, guys. It comes out automatic. How cool is that? And then you want to put it back. Press again this button, you wait around 10 seconds, it will go in automatic. You see? You don't even need to touch it. LED light up here, handles, lock uh, the, the trunk, close the trunk automatically. Huge entrance in the car here, in the, in the trunk. It's really, really big. You can fit in here a lot of stuff, a lot of rubber around the side here. 
uh, to insulate that good. Also, you can see uh, the way they design this. It's quite, quite nice. It allows you to have a lot of entrance here. You have this protection for the trunk. You also can take it out. I will take it out for you on this in a second. Then we will fold down the seat as well. But before that, here at the entrance, we have some aluminum plate. Now they have that protection foil. Uh, we don't have a flat floor. We have like seven centimeters here deepness i think if i'm not wrong a lot of storage space on the side here where you can put your medical kit and other stuff here on the right side you have another space where you can open this up just like that you have the fuse box there quite nice quite simple uh, to use it's kind of complicated to do that with only one hand but I did it, yes. Then we have some hooks here in every corner. Uh, we have here the button for the air suspension. So if you want to put it down, you press it like that. And then the car will go down for you. Then we have also some 12 volt port hooks and a light, LED light there in both sides. As you can see, hooks in every corner. And you can see right now the car is going down. I don't know if you can see it, still going down. It's going down for me maximum. Uh, so in this way, you can have a better position to put your stuff in the trunk. And also keep in mind that the car comes with air suspension. I will show you from the interior when we go there in a second. Yeah, I know. You want to see what is under the floor? Under the floor here, a lot of space. You don't have a spare tire here, but you have a lot of space to put different, different things and stuff right here. So yeah, this is it. This is the space, guys pretty nice anyway let me take this out let me fold down the seats to show you the the rest all right guys now i take out that protection you can check out one more time the trunk the way it looks pretty big pretty nice now the only thing that i don't like here is that the fact that we don't have any buttons here or somehow handles to fold down the seats and i don't understand why mercedes didn't add this this is the first thing that i notice i didn't like that and if you want to go there you have to stretch out because this is really big i mean here it's a lot of space to put your stuff in if you want to fold it down you have to go on the side or you have to try to to, to do it like this and yeah anyway it's not a big deal but it's something to keep in mind look at the glass roof really beautiful here you have this space you have the possibility to fold down the middle part so you can carry long items in the middle skis or whatever you want to carry uh, it's super super useful now if you want to fold down the seat you have to go on the side here and then you have to do it from here you press this button and you fold it down just like that now you are good to go here and then on the other side the problem is that i have to go on the other side or you can do it from here but i have to stretch out too much and for me it's too too far away and i have to go on the side so I have to do it like that, just press this button and then fold it down just like that. Now, once you are folded down, let me go in the back. Let me show you the, the, the space right now. You have almost a completely flat floor, a lot of space here. Look at this, a lot of space. It's almost, almost flat there. Plenty of space there to put a lot of things here. You can even sleep here without any problem. It's huge. I tell you, it's a huge space. Really, really big, really big space. Going on the side, I like very much the quality of the doors when you touch it. And I like the fact that you open the, the door almost 90 degrees. So you have a huge entrance here, really big. And you can see from this angle one more time the trunk. Pretty big. You can fit in here a lot of stuff. Good quality behind the seats here. Also, I like very much the way they do it. Also, down here on the legs room, we have a lot of space. Even transmission tunnel is not so big. So you can put a few things there if you want to. And yeah, this is the space here. Yeah, guys, now let me put everything back and we will go inside to see the, the rest of the interior of the car. All right, guys, now let's go on the door. Here we have a window made from two parts. It's one, it's fixed right here, and one, it's here, tinted windows. In terms of design, it's lovely. I mean, uh, I'm a big fan of the interior design of Mercedes and the quality design. Here we have leather everywhere, guys, keep in mind. Leather, leather, leather everywhere until here. Then we have this wood insertion. We have Bornmeister. Uh, sound system one of the best and also look at the speakers how nice they are some chrome design insertion right here 
and we have leather in this area again leather 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 handle super high quality then again leather here and even softer leather right here for a better comfort look at the buttons one of my favorite buttons they feel super nice as you touch it very good quality a lot of space here in the door bands led lights on the side here what what you want more guys i mean look at this guys look how much rubber they add here look at this rubber look at this rubber double rubber double rubber up here as well rubber here hear this out when you close the door oh yeah high class top top premium chrome at entrance here pretty flat entrance i like the fact that you don't have any kind of the transmission tunnel it's super small that that's something that i like very very much you have hooks here guys check this out even in the interior of the car you have hooks that's a good thing i love that other than that big entrance as i said before also you can see the space here in the back really really spacious a lot of space here you can put a lot of things without any problem also you can see the glass roof one more time from this position uh, then i like another thing here what i notice is that here in this area we don't have any plastic here is stuff material from here until here it's kind of a stuff black material i don't know if you can see it so well on the camera then we have the leather side support leather so the passengers in the back will stay only on the high class material leather alcantara those seats combination of seats uh, it's alcantara here on the side alcantara a leather lovely 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 quality look at this it's, you can see close up beautiful beautiful quality so the headrest they are a little bit softer this is the new trend right now the the headrests are a little bit softer really beautiful side support isofix you can install two child seats here in the back even in the middle here we have kind of a flat floor we will see in a moment what is the quality but if you look at the seats they are they are gorgeous this um, mg seats are awesome also we have two cup holders leather there perfect 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 behind the front seats we have some plastic some storage space and other than that let me go inside there going inside it's quite a tall car guys i mean you have to be to make a, a big step if you want to go directly in the car then down here actually let me put the contact to show you that wow it feels so spacious it feels so spacious for the first time when i stay in the back here but i want to show you something start the system start the system turn on automatic set up come on turn the pneumatic system skip these things on off come on come on come on, come on, come on. i think i have to i have to switch on the, the the engine yes right now it should work at least for one second i just want to show you in the back the way it looks yes look at this guys oh not like that just just just, just a little bit just a little bit okay now here in the back guys we have these vents very good quality one of the best vents on the rear uh, that I ever tried, I tell you. It feels really, really good uh, as a quality. Down here you have these four quattro climatic, I don't know how they call it, uh, but you have also for the boat passengers in the back here. So you can choose the temperature for the right side and for the left side. So that, that's super impressive, guys. I like that. And also you have some nice, nice buttons here to choose where you want the air to go. How cool is that? really impressive and also you can turn it off if you want to incredible huh i love that really this is a great great thing now let's go down there to show you what is here here you have two usb c ports i don't know if you can see that yes now you can see it two usb ports a space for your phone there you can charge your phone or wherever you want to charge super simple let me close the door it's super noise oh yeah by the way by the way about the noise I forget to tell you the ambient light here in the doors guys you can change you have a lot of ambient lights I will show you later on the on the multimedia look how noisy it's outside what do you think about that good sound insulation all right being here okay you have a vent here also on the B pillar also a hook here the quality is very good on the roof as well you have another 
LED light here, a yellow LED, it looks beautiful. Uh, also some kind of hook here, we can put our stuff, very fancy hook. A microphone here, and other than that, very good quality. Also an airbag you have here in the C-pillar on your head, super awesome. Very safe car. Uh, I'm 173 centimeters. This is the space on my head. I have around five fingers over my head left. Visibility outside, it's good. It's, it's quite good. I didn't expect on a coupe to have such a good visibility. You have a small window there, another here. These windows, it's good visibility. It's not perfect, but it's good. On the normal GLA, you have better visibility, but it's really good for a, for a coupe. And also the head space, it's impressively good. And then I forget to adjust the seats in the front. That means this is much more in the back than in a normal position. There is kind of my driving position a little bit more backward than my driving position. But this one, it's a little bit more in the back. And this is the space. I mean, it's more than enough space for me. I think for most of the people it will be more than enough. And I can also stretch the legs under the front seat uh, without any problem. So that's a good thing. Other than that, in terms of comfort, it's super comfortable to be here. Leather everywhere here on the side, super nice. You have this LED, beautiful there. Going in the middle, not so complicated because you have this small transmission tunnel. If I'm not wrong, you can stay also even with your legs together. Look at this. I have plenty of space. I feel like here in the back, it's mega spacious. I don't know, for me, it feels like that. Surprisingly, wow, this is super soft. Look at this. I complained so many times I said in my videos that this is just too stiff in other cars and Mercedes make it look at this how soft it is oh man I like that oh boy it's it's even more soft than here look at this, this is stiffer this is softer and wow it's more it's much more nicer to be down here is the same soft as the headrest than to be on the side but but the back here, it's still stiffer. Oh boy, that would, that would be amazing, you know, one day to see this space in the middle to be super comfy. But other than that, it's mega comfortable. One of the most comfortable middle seats ever. And anyway, let me stay straight. Let's check out the space. Look at even five, even more space here. Five, six fingers. Oh man, stretch my hand completely. Stretch my hand more than completely. Three people here, no problem. I tell you guys, even for long trips. Great job, Mercedes. Uh, even on my legs, room, look at this space. Look at the space. Here is my driving position. Lovely, lovely, lovely. A lot of great, great quality here and good space in the back. Surprisingly for a, for a coupe. Anyway, uh, look at the view on the glass roof. It's also very nice. I love this glass roof. And the surprise is that this glass roof, it's almost third of the uh, roof of the car and you can open it up. This is surprising me. I will show you later. Incredible, huh? Or maybe let me show you now. From here, look at this. Let's go down a little bit. Look at this, guys. Half of it, you can open it up. And also this is coming automatic. It's nice, huh? Super, super nice. Let me close it back and then put this Look at this, super nice, lovely, 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 and this is going back again. Ooh, super nice. Anyway, uh, now we will go in the front, guys, and we will talk a little bit about the dashboard, the multimedia system, and the things in the front. What I want to tell you before we go there is that the, the dashboard is super, super high quality. It's used a lot of high quality materials. It looks nice. The design is lovely. Position of driving, it's perfect and it's modern it's futuristic it's one of the most beautiful interior these days i'm a big fan of the mercedes interiors anyway let's go in the front guys now here in the front we have a big window great visibility also big big mirror good visibility in the mirrors then you have a speaker up here you have again the burnmeister speakers beautiful this this design it's it's super super nice uh, and then Again, leather here on the upper side, everywhere you can see the stitches. Then you have the wood insertion here, very nice inserted in the wood. The speakers, also the buttons here uh, for the seats. Those buttons are for heated seats, ventilated seats, and this is the massage, if I'm not wrong. Uh, and then we have this adjustment from the seats. Even the headrest, you can adjust it electrically. Other than that, you adjust everything electrically from here. You have free position to save uh, the seats. Look at this. 
you can adjust it electrically the headrest guys how cool is that super nice super fancy handle here again here leather in this area leather right here soft and nice material stitches on the handle then look at the gray buttons beautiful buttons they feel super super high quality to be honest uh, the way you touch it it's awesome and then you have also the adjustment for the mirror electrically adjustment for the mirror then here plenty of storage space the button to open the trunk another light down here and yeah phenomenal in terms of quality on the doors it's phenomenal uh, the entrance in the car down there you have an amg with led uh, the logo in the nighttime look wonderful then we have aluminum pedals down there and uh, some uh, ambient light on the legs going inside here look at this big entrance look at the glass roof one more time and look at those amg special seats for the car they look super super luxurious super premium we have the amg logo uh, alcantara on the side leather stitches some little holes here because the car it's ventilated and also heated seats lovely lovely design and very good quality high class quality from those seats um, if i go forward here we go down here here we have soft material everywhere guys this is impressive which car not many cars have that here it's soft soft leather everywhere here from here begin to up here we have everywhere soft 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 material even here you have soft material even here you have soft material everywhere it's it's high class from this point of view here we have electronic handbrake you press it you pull it then we have the position of the lights the fog lamps the the brightness of the screen also some ambient light up here you can see it inserted in the dash with some chrome we have the wood insertion we have the soft material and stitches even here on the upper side so everywhere guys it's high high class material you have a big speaker in the front also head-up display it's lovely also you can adjust the steering wheel electrically from here from this small button just like that let me go inside okay good go inside Visibility around the windows, yeah, no problem. Big mirrors, big windows, lovely visibility around the car, guys. You can see for yourself as well. In the back there may be a little bit of blind spot, but the car comes with a 360 degrees camera. You can see one more time the seats in the back. Here we have lovely quality everywhere. We have an LED light insertion here, an ambient light here. The ambient light inside the car, it's phenomenal. Here we have stitches, leather uh gorgeous armrest here you press this button you have some storage space for your phone you can leave it there you have a usb c port there super cool then going forward on this center console we have these buttons here and we have wood and this wood look at this let me show let me close this we have wood here and look how nice they integrated in the wood all those buttons with the glossy plastic and we have the exhaust here you can change the exhaust you can see powerful and balance it powerful you hear the sound of the engine a little bit more aggressive then you have the air suspension here actually uh, you put it on sport sport plus on comfort you have three different uh, modes then you have here uh, the air suspension so you can put it down and up the way you want it rising or pull it down you can see also on the screen there and then we have here the traction control and then this m mean you are in m mode it mean manual or d from driving mode for from automatic anyway super cool you still have this nice handle here to rest your arm and to play with this controller for the multimedia so you can control the multimedia system from here from this controller or you can control it from here from this little uh, button so you can go in different views and angles right there in the front it's so easy to to play with it it's one of the best system i think it's the best system in my opinion i love the way they do it from here you go back you go home uh, to the multimedia it's it's super super simple to use it and it's with a touch screen it's it's incredible um, then we have here different driving modes from here you can change different driving mode the car come with sport plus mode where everything is on sport so aggressive sound sport mode comfort mode individual mode where you can individualize all those things the way you want it 
you can go here for example and you can choose the driving how to be reduce it moderate speed um, then you go back to the transmission manual or automatic the, uh, the dynamics basic advanced and pro then you have the suspension comfort sport plus and you can individualize exhaust sound exhaust sound and you can individualize everything the way you want it and then you have uh, slippery mode trail mode and sand mode so the car will react accordingly the suspension will go up or down depending on which mode you are so great the volume here the navigation button shortcut button get you directly to the navigation one of the best navigation uh, then we have the radio and media telephone here we have the car this car mean you go to the settings of the car and here on the settings of the car you have all the settings the parking sensors lane assist i don't remember what is this stop and go ready this is the adaptive cruise control this is the lane assist active steering assist uh, head up display by the way from here you activate deactivate amazing head up display by the way guys you can see it right there in the front you can see a lot of information about the car like navigation like speed it's such a big uh, head up display it's perfectly positioned there in the front i speak a little bit more about it in the test drive check out the test drive video it's lovely it's it's my favorite head up display this is this one right here then the the downhill assist uh this is the i don't remember lower when entering oh cool the car will go down when you enter inside the car so the the air suspension will go down really interesting this is the wash and this is the hook in the back there really interesting and this is the alarm i think and also if you want to see all these settings of the car in a 3d mode you press this button and then you see the car in the middle and then you have the quick access of the car settings let's let me show you again quick access get you back and then you can turn the car and you go to vehicle systems and stuff like that you can have a nice animation 360 degrees animation if you want to see it like that anyway where was i uh, here the car you see it this button here is for 360 degrees camera you press it once and you can see all that 360 cool systems like now you have the reverse camera you have also reverse uh, the front camera this is the side camera this is the reverse camera in the wide view reverse camera in another view and you have the hook and the trailer so it's just incredible and also all those cameras have a very good uh, resolution it's one of the best resolution out there uh, it's a great 360 degrees and every time you, if you go in reverse for example you can see you have this active lines assist super awesome by the way the gear shifter it's right here behind the steering wheel this is the gear shifter you go in park you press it like this you go in reverse go up go in drive go down and now roll the same thing you press it you go in uh, parking mode so that's something to keep in mind guys it's the great system the the most the nicest system mercedes invent this sh gear shifter here behind the steering wheel it's awesome it's super easy and i have it on my tesla as well it's it's super super good here we have two cup holders super nice good quality cup holders we have a button here you probably wonder what is this this is to keep your drink cold and also the ambient light inside the, the cup there will change in blue if you go to keep your things warm right now you have everything your your things warm here inside so how cool is that warm and cold your drink awesome great job mercedes here you have a space where you can charge your phone wireless you leave your phone here it's charging wireless then you have a 12 volt port there very nice designed and integrated and two usb ports as well down there very nice they integrated things there in a perfect way start stop engine button and start stop function it's also down there uh, ambient light on the on the dash here some nice stitches high high quality here look at it look how soft it is i press on it and you can see how soft it is one of the most uh, high quality even here on the glow box you open the glow box big glow box and beautiful you have light you have the perfume space you have space down there space down here space there super super spacious super big and also high quality when you touch it it feels really really high quality the same as all the dashboard the wood here the dashboard on the upper side is high quality you have the vents very nice integrated up here uh, on the dash and also uh, on the upper side you have the head-up display there that you see it before 
Yeah, everything it's it's lovely. It feels super super high class. Even the way they integrate those vents in the wood look in a big way. Look at this. Super high class. Physical buttons for the climatic system. If many people these days complain about physical button, Mercedes give it all what they want. You have the menu of the climatic system and all that buttons that you already probably know about them. Now, let's go forward. From here you adjust the seat. If you press this air button, guys, as I said before, let me show you. No, it's not working. Or what is this air button? I don't know what is this air. Tell me guys, what is the air? I don't think it's massage. It's something that I don't know. One of my favorite things is the steering wheel. Steering wheel is phenomenal. We have this AMG steering wheel. Amazing grip. Look at the little holes. Look at the stitches. Look at the quality here, the way they integrate everything here in the, in the steering wheel. The AMG logo, the grip is phenomenal, uh, the size is perfect and I love it. I love the shape of it, it's, it's super super nice. We have uh, pedals guys, those pedals to change the gears. From here you can change the gears up and down. Uh, then we have the controllers down here. For example here you can change the different things, for example AMG Dynamic. From here, you can see right there, you can go in pro basis or advanced. Let me, and then you have the exhaust. You can, you can make the exhaust more aggressive. And here you have the wheel to change the different driving modes. Sport, Sport Plus, Comfort, Individual, Snow, Trail, Sand. How cool is that? Nice. Then we have the controls that you probably see in my other videos where you can control uh, the cruise control and also you can control the things on the cockpit right there. So you can change different views, you can change different things. And here on the right side, you have the control for the multimedia system. So from here, you can go back to home, you can go left and right, just like that. Look at this, you can change from here. From this little button, you can go in every function and position you want. And also you have the volume and the multimedia system controllers right there. Cockpit, it's phenomenal. One of the best, great, great view, big cockpit. Uh, you have all the info there, wherever you want to have, wherever you want to see, you can see it right there on the screen, the information about uh, G-meter. And you have also this RPM. If you don't want to see it like that, you can go to navigation. You can see even the navigation in the middle there. And if you want the navigation, for example, to say, oh, I want the navigation all over the screen. Okay. You can also change what you like to see on the right side. For example, there, look at this comfort. You see the suspension, you, have, you see the tires, you see the navigation there. You have, you have everything you need on the right side. Yes. And you can go also on the left side and you can change on the left side wherever you want to see. You can customize the car in so many ways. It's just incredible in how many ways you can customize and you can do whatever you want here. And if you don't like this, you go and you say, okay, I want the display, I have the navigation, I want the navigation all over the screen. And you can have the navigation all over the screen. So it's so many ways to customize the, the cockpit. It's, it's one of the best, in my opinion, one of the best cockpit. And then you can have also the assistance systems in the middle there just like that and you can see the system systems in the middle or you can see the system systems even on the full screen if you want to. Uh, the AMG performance you see it already now. Uh, what we have here the trip for example if you want to see the trip in the middle there you can see the trip and information about consumption and stuff like that. If you don't like that you can go to radio, media, style and display, service you can change the style and display in the front and I think you already know uh, the way it looks on the other cars. I have a separate video with that. Uh, service here, you can see about the service information. If you want to go to head-up display, you go up and right now you can adjust the head-up display and what you like to see on the head-up display. Let me see if I can show you. And you can go left and down and up. You can close, you can add different things there. Oh boy. That's why I tell you, it's, it's one of the best, best head-up display. Look how big is that. Oh boy, I love it. I like it. I like it, I tell you. I like it very much. Uh, the head-up display, it's one of the best. Anyway, uh, the cockpit, it's also one of the best on the market. And I, it's incredible. I mean, how many ways, in so many ways that you can see right there in the front. It's incredible. Let me go back. 
let me go to AMG performance again. Good. Now let's talk a little bit about multimedia system. You can control it from down here or you can use it as a touchscreen as well. You have the settings here. Most of the settings, most important settings, you already see it. Um, then you have the camera here, a lot of information about the camera and parking, the vehicle, traffic signs, assist, lane keeping assist, active brake, all that safety features you can activate and deactivate it from here. Very simple. It's a very complex system, guys, I tell you. Mercedes have one of the best and complex system. I will need hours to explain you everything. If I go in every function, the belt, the automatic locking, folding, the mirrors and all those settings are here. The light settings are here, ambient light. For example, I tell you the car have so many colors, multicolors, blue ocean. You can, you can choose how you like to have it. Purple, red moon, red fire, ocean blue. Those are some color scheme, but you can also, um, you can also, for example, activate and change the way you want it also it has that function when you go the climatic system to hot in red and in cold in blue the brightness here on the you can choose the brightness there are there are many many energizer comfort here you have refresh also about the lights i explained that also in other video so those are the most important things here on the settings mercedes me app you can connect your phone then you have the amg performance that you find it also on the amg only on the AMG cars. Here, here you have all that settings that I showed you before that you can customize it. And by the way, you have up here, wait a second, consumption. You can see the consumption, you can see the engine information right here. And you can see also the vehicle information while you're driving. It looks, it has a nice view, guys. It's really the cars, car in the nice view. And also you have all those things down here. Really interesting. Then you have the AMG track pace and it says warning activate only on the close road tracks. It's, it's really dangerous and it's, it's fun. It's fun to drive the car on the track. You have all the options to get the car on the track. It's incredible. Anyway, uh, then you have the comfort on the comfort things here. You have all that comfort stuff, uh, ambient light seats media radio navigation and telephone are the last ones you already know it because i have a separate video about it and the navigation as you probably know it's one of the best now i put the the lights a little bit blue you can see everywhere the ambient light looks phenomenal i tell you in the car in the nighttime it's awesome and also in the back there you have some ambient light now guys i think i cover everything almost everything uh here the mirror the visibility in the back it's a coupe so don't expect to have a huge high very good visibility but you still have a good visibility there here you have a microphone you have a mirror you have a nice led light we have also this very nice uh, ambient light here a yellow led ambient light that looks super fancy um, and then you have the buttons to open up sos infos and all that stuff right there so guys that was all let's stop the car the engine that was the video. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. That was the review, guys, with this Mercedes GLA 53 Coupe AMG 2022. Incredible car. You have everything. It's top, top, top end. My rating for this GLA AMG 53 for 1 to 10, it's 9.9. .9. It's an incredible car. I love everything about the car. It's almost perfect. Only the price is not perfect. <laughs> but other than that, it's just an incredible car. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching my video. I really appreciate that. I hope it was useful for you. If you like it, please like it, share it, subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Also, if you want to see the car, check out Tehash Willy in Vern. I will leave the link in the description. Check them out. They have the car here. You can see it. You can test drive. They are also super nice. Also, guys, don't forget to check out the test drive with the same car. I will have a separate video test drive with the same car. Uh, you will find out there how it's on the road as well and yeah that was the video guys if i forget something just ask me down below comment down below tell me your opinion i'm really uh, looking forward to hear your opinion maybe i missed something i just wait your question anyway thank you for watching stay safe and i see you soon in the next one bye guys